So I'm just on my way to my sister's house and I was thinking about something. So I wanted to make a quick video before I got there. Um, I always think about like uh, Christ and for the, the idea of forgiveness, but specifically like in terms of your enemies. And Christ was, you know, one of the things he said, he said, uh, some say, some will tell you to hate your enemies, but I tell you, no, you need to love your enemies, um, as you love yourself. And, and the, the whole point being, I don't think it's necessarily a good thing to like, to, <laughs> it's the, it's, it's along the lines of if you, you know, Christ also said, if I turn, if, if somebody smacks your cheek, turn to them the other cheek so you, you, they can smack that as well. Um, I don't think that's quite right, you know, like, just in terms of, of how things work and how society is and so on and so forth and all that stuff, um. forgiveness aspect there's there's points in history where you know we've done really really shitty things and we continue to do really really shitty things to each other but we do it in our individual lives and we do it on a more global scale as well and some of these things are, are, are really, really fucking terrible and you want to stop those things. And that's completely understandable. But at a certain point, there has to be a level of forgiveness. It's like <clears throat> with the issue of like slavery and stuff in the United States, the uh, Black Lives Matter and the social justice warriors, um, We'll, we'll try to bring up slavery and all this stuff, but it's like, dude, that's not even our generation. It's, it's generation that's already dead was the last generation that had slavery in the United States. And, uh, it's not relevant anymore. There has to be a level of forgiveness on a societal level for, for certain things. Otherwise, it just, it just brings up more and more fucking chaos and hatred. Like, what is the point of bringing up racism over and over and over again? Or, uh, you know, the, the, the Christian Crusades or, or any other, you know, issue that is long since dead and past and doesn't have any real bearing on the world today other than the fact that people can't let it the fuck go. Right? Like, there's a huge problem with that. People just can't let things go. They can't have forgiveness in their hearts. They they look and they they actively nowadays it's it's like they actively look for something to be angry about. They they're like doing the opposite of forgiveness. They they're looking for something to simply be angry about. And uh, uh, fucking ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous. What does that solve? It solves nothing. But if you can have forgiveness in your heart and be like, okay, look, this person, this group of people, they're not doing that same shit anymore. Um, and it's a comp and, and it's even a completely different group of people. Same culture. Maybe the aunt, you know, the uh, descendants of the people who actually committed the crime. But what does it solve anything to be angry if the issue isn't there anymore? If the issue's dead, why are you still angry over it? Like, yeah, we understand. At one point, one tribe attacked your tribe, so now you hate that tribe. Because what they did was really, really shitty. And I agree with you. What they did was really, really shitty. Whoever committed the crime was extremely terrible. But guess what? Every fucking culture does it. Every single one. 
we as humans seem to have this need to conquer each other. And I think this happens just over and over and over again. There's nowhere in the world I think you can escape this um, sort of thing. And so <laughs> at a certain point, you got to start letting it go. Because if you're going to keep track of literally everyone who's ever done you wrong in, in any culture, I mean, first of all, there's so much mixing of, of people and cultures and different groups and races. And, and how are you going to keep it all straight anyway? It just doesn't make any sense. It's like... Okay, what if you're half white and half black, you know, going back to the, the BLM social justice stuff, just because it's so, uh, easy, it's an easy example. <sighs> well, I mean, it's, I don't know, it's just dumb. I lost my train of thought. BLM is just such an easy example right now. Just because it's, it's, it, oh, I remember the point I was trying to make. So, like, these kids, you know, they're half white and half black, right? There's, some of these kids are half white and half black, and they, they, they go with, oh, I'm fully black, I'm so oppressed, and all this stuff. It, it just doesn't make any sort of, you know, sense to me at all. It, uh, it doesn't do you any good. And these kids are, like, confused. Like, like are you, are, are other people who are maybe not mixed supposed to be angry at these people, too? Because they're, they're part white? I mean, if you're gonna separate it, uh, you know, what group of people did wrong to another group of people, like, what do you do with mixed people? Like, what if, what if, you know, one tribe attacks another tribe, tribe, but, you know, they have the, the tribes or whatever in, intermix and they, they breed together or whatever at a later point in time. Are you still supposed to, to carry on the anger and, and all that stuff? Is that really what you're supposed to do? I don't think so. I don't think that's what you're supposed to do. Um, anyway, I'm here at my sister's house. So you guys have a fantastic day.